So why aren't you enforcing other AMP bans? You just passed by an AMP and you didn't write that AMP a ticket. You just walked by a dude with an AMP and you didn't give him a ticket. I think it's like a protocol like, you go through. Like, like if you, you wasn't doing this, you would be a citizen. I don't, I don't have like, a conversation with anybody. No, exactly. Me either. That's what I was going to say. How do I, I get paid? I don't have to know the issue. I just think, like, you know what? Well, I'm a, I'm a, you, you, I wasn't even doing the show. So I can't have a few days on the bus. But that code that y'all gave a citation for is for 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. According to the city. So we have a protest with loudspeakers. Lots of loudspeakers. Buskers and artists can't have speakers according to the Rangers, even though their code says otherwise. I wonder if this Ranger is actually going to go talk to the protesters. clearly hear the audio devices that they're using. Rangers walking away from the protest. So when it comes to so the First Amendment rights enforcement, he can't be bothered to enforce against this. Even though they're here under the same rules and regulations that we are. By the way, I agree with this protest. I, I, what is going to happen within one to three weeks is that all six reactors are going to start overheating to the point where the zirconium clad steel fuel rods, which are filled with uranium 235, are going to start melting down. When they start melting down, okay, there are going to be explosions from the plants just like you had at the Chernobyl plant, which is in Ukraine, and just like you had at the plants at the Fukushima complex in Japan, which also had six reactors, and at least three of them were permanently but. destroyed. As you can see, when they're they, able uh, to express themselves through amplification without any uh, hassle or bother by the rangers. Buck ranger, ranger that bothered these other guys just walked straight by this protest without saying a word to them. Um, this right here is selective enforcement at its best because, you know, the only reason they're violating buskers and artist rights is because of them making money and the park rangers don't like it but when it comes to a protest or something like that freaking ranger man bond is already far far out of sight did not bother did not care just wasting his tax dollars or your tax dollars to walk around and ignore one group while violating the rights of another it's downright despicable. I cannot believe that the city or that the heads of the park allow this sort of misbehavior from their park rangers. This is supposed to be a place for entertainment, art, and enjoyment. But you can hardly find any buskers here anymore because of the way the rangers treat them. 
That's what happens in, in Balboa Park when you give rangers unfettered enforcement to do whatever the hell they want. Meanwhile, you know, there are things here that aren't even First Amendment protected stuff. Like jewelry that's being resold. Not stuff that was made, but just stuff that was bought and resold. Let's see if he bothers to protest. We don't want him to know we're here, though. Let's see how he acts. When he doesn't know, we're watching. Is he going to go say anything to the protesters? Oh, matter of fact, you see this guy with a sign over there? They kicked Sterling out of the exact same spot about three or four hours ago. The gold man. They kicked him off the planet. But Ranger Rambon here, just looking at his phone and not dealing with people on the planner. So it just depends on the uh, date and time. Also, passing out CDs is not protected unless you're actually making music. He's not paying attention to the CD guy who's actually scamming people by pushing CDs into their face. But as you can see, he's witnessing and hearing the amplification and is doing absolutely nothing. One of the three rangers that was ticketing performers earlier for having amplification. And you can clearly hear them. I think I'm about 100 foot away. All six reactors melting down and contaminating all of Europe. I could hear that clearly audible, which is what the city code actually says. No enforcement. And there's no water being supplied to those nuclear plants, to those reactors. This can happen. Ladies and gentlemen, you must understand this can affect the entire planet. Not just Ukraine, not just Europe, even the United States. The entire world could have to deal with radioactive fallout if these plants melt down. You must understand this is important. The United States and NATO has to go into Ukraine now. They have no choice if they cannot find a way without doing so to the reactors within the next several weeks before they stop melting down. This must happen. If he actually shuts them down, he's shutting down a protest. It is a safety issue regarding the safety oh, oh, he's getting rid of this guy. This must happen.
What he fails to understand is in the United States, everywhere that the public is allowed is a free speech zone. Yeah, because we're not obstructing. Okay, that's fine. You don't need to have that argument. Do you know if there's a prize if you get I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think so. It's, I think it's like a Christian thing. You can see plainly with your eyes that he's not an obstruction. An obstruction actually involves vehicle or track of traffic. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna, I feel like I'm, just so you know, I feel like I'm pretty harmless here. I got You have every right to be there. He's actually stepping I'm over not, your I'm rights. <laughs> Every time you do this, you're taking a risk on your pension, bud. Yeah, you ignored the protest with the speaker. Why don't you go deal with that? <laughs> this ain't a fire lane either. That red spot over there is a fire lane. He's calling it obstruction of traffic, even though there's no traffic he's stopping. Oh, really? Are you kidding? What's up? <laughs> oh, I see. Am I going to be obstructing traffic up there? So, where are they? Give me an example where they're going to be. So you're telling her to go where there's no foot traffic? Just obstructing actual traffic. Look look at how heavy the, the car traffic is. And this fire lane's not a legal fire lane. I've already checked with the city, so his code doesn't apply to this fire lane. Yeah. They painted it themselves. And you can also sue him for his pension for putting you in a court of law over your First Amendment rights. Thank you. 
What is your name, by the way, sir? You don't have to take the citation. You, you should walk away like this is my battle. Like I will fight this for you guys. Don't, don't take the citation. There's no need for it. Him threatening to give you a citation is enough. And I have that on video. You just told her you didn't have to issue the citation if she complied. I got that on video, sir. Stop intimidating people. Sir. Habus. Michael Habus, is that what the M4? Uh the first one I'd thrown is 63.0102P25. Oh, there are two separate parentheses, the B and the 25. This is the, is the Civil. This is San Diego Municipal Code. San Diego Municipal Code. Okay. Okay. And then that's for the fire. No, that's for just obstructing access. It's vehicle, pedestrian, etc. You're free to read it yourself, though, if you'd like. Okay. Where, do, you wanna, do you want me to walk with you and find a spot, or are you going to be good on your own? Probably will. Partner said he was good on his own. He didn't really care either way. He just violated y'all's rights under color of law. There is no actual law that he used. This is not a real fire lane. If you call the city, they will tell you that they didn't authorize this, that the park just did it themselves. That red strip over there, that's a fire lane.